All right, let's try this again. I am going to show you how to watch movies that you've purchased, like from from Vudu or uh, Google Play Movies or um, Amazon Prime Video or Video Amazon Video on Demand uh, or iTunes. Those kind of movies. Um, you can play those and watch them on your Oculus Go. And this includes sideloading apps. Um, you're going to need to sideload some apps to do this. So um, if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and check out another video I'll throw a link to uh, in the description. And uh, all right, here we go. All right, the first thing you're going to need to do in order to play these is um, not all the apps for these things work on the Oculus Go, like, for example, the Voodoo app. You can there's an app that will run, but when he tries to play, it doesn't play them. Um, but you can synchronize your accounts through Movies Anywhere. So you go to Movies Anywhere, and you can synchronize all these accounts with each other. So if you don't have an account, it's free. Create one. And here I am. You have to go to uh, you log in and you go to settings and you go to manage retailers and see how all these will say disconnect because I've connected them. Fandango now, I've already connected it through Voodoo, so I'm not gonna connect it here. I don't know if my movies will show up double, but if you haven't done that, then go ahead and connect it because the Fandango Now app is what we're gonna use to access our Voodoo movies um, because some of, the, some of the Voodoo movies don't go to the other apps, but they show up in Fandango Now, and Fandango does also UV movies. So connect all these. Um, connect Vudu and Google Play and iTunes and Prime Video and Fandango now and then I will show you right now the apps that we're going to use uh, to view these movies. Um, this involves some sideloading. There's various ways you can sideload. Um, you can do it with the command prompt. We're going to go ahead and use ADB link here to sideload. That's what we're going to do. All right. Install APK. Select multiple. Ooh, I selected multi pal multiple. Whatever. Just one at a time. All right. Install APK. It's installing that one. Okay, that one's done. Install that one as well. I already have it installed. Fandango. Um, do I have Fandango installed yet? I I had all these installed but I tried to uninstall them for this video, so. Um, Cause I wanted to show you guys how to do it from the beginning and any issues I might have. Smart YouTube one, this is, this is one too. We're gonna use, we're gonna use this smart YouTube one to play the movies that are linked to our Google Movies account. Google Play Movies. All right, so those should be installed. Oh yeah, these apps. Uh, okay, launch them in Oculus TV. Oculus TV is always seems tricky to oh, what just happened. Let's try this again. Launch Oculus TV. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have Voodoo installed, but it, it doesn't play the movies. It starts playing. It says it's going to play, and then it's just a blank screen. All right, so now, check it out. Fandango now. And you have to, like, double-click. Uh, but check it out, like. I've probably already logged into this one, so. But let's see, double click, click once. Wait, try to click once. Okay. 
So you can see, and let's see, which one do we want to start? Show you that it plays. Turn this down lest I get some kind of copyright notice from YouTube for the audio. Now the thing with Fandango now is you can't just click down here at the bottom and tell it where you want it to go. You have to scroll which makes it fast forward and then and then what? And press, then press the flat part and then whoops I backed out of it. I zoom. It looks choppy right now, probably because I'm streaming what's what I'm what I'm seeing, and in that sense, I'm recording it. I'm capturing the screen, so it doesn't play like this when I'm not doing that. It's fine. So okay. Oh yeah. For some reason with this, you can't be actually pointed at it. When you back out of it, you have to point it away from the screen and then it'll let you back out. Back out again. Yes, click on that twice. All right, now we're gonna look at uh, Amazon Video On Demand. I've already logged into this but if you guys get a uh, pop-up screen if you get a pop-up screen this app that I'm running which I will point put a link to in the description um, it allows you to actually because sometimes things will pop up that they're not in VR they don't have left and right they just looks like a regular Android phone or Android tablet and then when you look at it in here you can't see you can't interact with it but if you're using this app you can just use your mouse and click on stuff and type in and it works. So problem solved. So anyhow, um, Prime Video, down to Video Library. Oh yeah, my pin. I don't want to put my pin on on this video. So here, this one probably doesn't need a pin. And with this, you can't, I think you can drag it, can't you? Click, yeah, this one, Prime Video allows you to drag to wherever. And they play great, they look great. And uh, so, so, okay, so that's those two. Exit out of here. I just want to exit. Come on. Okay. Can I not exit? I guess I have to just go to the library and then relaunch Oculus TV. And then uh, this one, Smart YouTube TV.
put a link I'll put a link that contains all these files um, in the description but uh, this one also is a project on github but this is the latest one and so you can just go down to purchases and here you go see you can watch these are your purchased movies through Google Play and uh, so most of these are supposed to be they're all supposed to synchronize like these are all supposed to synchronize but they don't always because if movies anywhere doesn't have some movies it won't work so that might be a benefit to synchronize your Fandango now with Vudu because I know there's some movies that I have on Vudu that don't show up in my prime video library and that's because they don't work for movies anywhere and that in that case it would probably be better to do like what I did and sync uh, my Fandango now account with with Vudu all right so uh, I'm gonna have another video that shows you how you can actually download videos from Netflix you can download videos from Netflix and watch them or you can download and you can download videos from Prime or from Amazon Video on demand also called Prime Video but even if you don't have a Prime account you can still watch your movies that you bought of course so anyhow that's how you watch purchase movies on your Oculus Go look for part two Another video coming up showing you how you can actually download those movies and watch them offline. All right. I'm a little bit out of it today. So uh, thanks for bearing with me. And uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you think it's lame, just give it a thumbs down. Um, and if you did like it, subscribe. I'm really enjoying doing Oculus Go videos. I'm really enjoying finding out everything that this device can do. So um, please continue to experience it with me. All right. Thank you.